Here we are in London, one of the biggest cities in the world for one of the biggest events in the world. Yes, Seth, it's certainly going to be an exciting one. After years of preparation, London is finally ready to welcome the world to the 2012 Olympic Games. Such a magnificent city, so many views with the Thames stretching away into the distance. And with so many new venues waiting to be tested, this really could be the best games ever. The Olympic Stadium splendid, glowing like a beacon here in London's East End. And there the Olympic torch, the iconic symbol of the Games, shining over the city of London. What an absolutely beautiful sight. So many nations represented here, all ready to compete in true Olympic spirit. Yes, 80,000 people they're expecting in that stadium and it's going to be full to the brim, not a spare seat in the house. Just imagine the excitement down there in the crowd. Fireworks to show the start of these games and the first event is first thing tomorrow. terrific atmosphere and this really should bring the best out of these athletes. Team USA have dominated this sport over the years but these days there is new... Over the years, the long jump is an event that the USA have dominated from Seoul to Barcelona to Atlanta. Elsewhere, there's been success for Cuba and more recently, Panama. What's he got in store here? Well, just didn't get enough height on that jump to get the distance. Here's the replay. Here's the leaderboard and Great Britain are in seventh place. That's a really poor start. Disappointing stuff, that. Got to hit the board flush here. Been threatening to do it for some time, and now here's confirmation. A new personal best. Well, there are a few technical flaws that came to light in this performance, and this athlete will have to go back to the drawing board. Great Britain need a drastic improvement here. So far, they're in seventh place. Round number three. Well, decides not to jump on this occasion, and I'm not sure exactly why. Next up, the protector representing Great Britain. Just a smooth athlete on the runway.
any time you jump up rather than long, it takes away distance, and that was the problem here. Next up, the conductor representing Great Britain. This is the fifth round of the long jump. And away we go. We've got to say that poor speed on the runway cost him dearly here. Here's the replay. Well, it's an ugly looking scoreboard for Great Britain. They're in last position. Great speed on the runway. Can he follow it up with good technique? Really quick on the runway and the angle, well, perhaps not the best for this athlete. to Lord's Cricket Ground. For many years, this has been the scene of some great Ashes success for both England and Australia. But now a chance for somebody to win a medal in the Olympic archery. This is the qualification rounds. These athletes all looking to finish in the... At the Athens 2004 Games, archers competed at the Panathinaikos Stadium where the first modern Olympics took place in 1896. That's six points. This is arrow number two for this athlete. Good aim, eight points. End one, arrow three. Running out of time. Could be improved upon. Five points. Let's take a look at that replay. End of the first round and the scoreboard says it all. Great Britain in fifth place. End two, first arrow. Well, the inner red circle means another eight points for the British competitor. That's a ten. We're fast approaching the midway point in this competition. This is end two, arrow three. The blue inner circle's six points. Here's the replay. Well, there's no doubts in my mind that this athlete from Great Britain can do better. So far, in fourth place. Here we are for the third end, and the competitors will shoot towards the magnificent media centre. Trust, we're not in the line of fire. The outer red circle, seven points. End three, arrow number two. Outer red, seven. This arrow wraps up end number three. That's five points in the blue. Here's the replay. So a fourth position on the scoreboard for this athlete after that round. 
a respectable position, but I'm sure the athlete's wanting better than that. Six points on the blue inner circle. Having seen the first arrow, what adjustments will this athlete make for arrow number two? Four. That's four, the inner black circle. Ten points right down the middle. Here's the replay. This athlete will take the applause of the fans, but I think deep down they know it's not where they want to be on the target. Welcome to Lords, the home of crickets for the most part, but for the two weeks of the Olympics. This is the chance for the archers to take centre stage in front of the magnificent old pavilion. Well, that's a strong start, right in the yellow stuff. Arrow number two. You can add eight for that. Take aim. That's eight. Here is the replay. Well, let's look at the leaderboard then. And good news for Great Britain, who are in first place. Tiny adjustment required. This is the second arrow. Nine for that arrow. This is arrow number three on end two. So close to the maximum. That's nine. Let's take a check on the replay. End three, arrow number one. A good start required. Eight more to the total. This is the third end and the second arrow. Seven more to the total. Third arrow must finish this end strongly. Great shot for nine. Here's the replay of that. Things going well so far for Great Britain, who are in third place. In the red, not bad. This is the penultimate arrow in this event. That's eight points for the inner red. This is the last arrow of the competition. Six more to the total. Well, let's have a look at the replay. Well, that's a really good, good performance, and this athlete will be really happy with that. Hungry finish, top of the tree, it's gold for this athlete, a super performance. Well, after such a terrific competition, it's now time to reap the rewards as the medals will be dished out. This is the medal tally.